Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. Today we are showcasing a tower made by me, Spicy, and Plushy. It's only like we do with all the ones that we make. Spicy's not here to showcase it with us, but we're showcasing it. So, starting off, this is the portal room. The islands match the colors of the rainbow. And then it goes brown, white, and then white. Right. So this was intended to be low rem, but according to the creator, creators, it's high rem. You can see in the background the beat block sign of T O E D B. Alright, let's go in. Starting off, you have a no jump section. So then you do one of the trust fuck head hitters up there. I'm very laggy. Um, then you've got these wrap rounds. Uh, white colored box. Yeah, so white colored box at the to tower or tower portals. And on each floor there will be these. Okay, I'm trying to show this. Islands, which are for decoration. So yeah, you could. So the theme of this. Okay. Tower uh, is like a darkness tower with white lights to give everything atmosphere. So we're already on the floor two. Floors do get harder. So yeah, I haven't been commenting too much. Got these head headers. All right, so this is a no jump section, and these are falling platforms, and pink blocks are elevators. So these up, walk across. All right, so this gotta go quick, quick, quick. Gameplay. Not the best at creating, creating Shiras gameplay, but I think it's better than Tussos. That was a bit boring. Alright, so we're already under floor 3. So you must go in the elevator and survive 20 seconds. Concentrating, not really commentating. This requires like such timing. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you have to. So we use this in two steps, but it's the upside down zip lines where you have to jump on them. Is that much harder? See the decoration islands over there. Sorry, I just kind of stood there for a while. I'm not the best at hiring. Speaking of which, okay, I'm not gonna go yet. So, this is like a beat block mechanic. Um, I'll showcase it once. Okay, so this gap, jump to here, jump on here, quickly wrap around, and jump on down to this one stud below here. Jump back up to the second one. Squeeze through that gap, go here, and boom, on the floor four. Alright, so for this, spawn the block, get on top of it, squeeze, oh, down there, squeeze through that gap, wrap around, and boom. Well, the island's on this floor.
turrets like this are tilting or loose platforms. And this time it's a tilting platform. You want to tilt it slightly and then jump up. But yeah, got to, so the strategy there is to get to the middle and then tilt it slightly to one side so that you can jump on the top like that up there. Oh yeah, here's a math problem. Um, I'm not going to guide you through how to do it, but you can replace each number with X. And it's actually four. Okay, so you got to time the jump. But. There we go. Okay. These islands are can't quite fast, by the way. This part's a little tricky, I'm not really taking my time. There we go. We've got more upside down zip lines. This is like a low roof section. It's a little cramped. And then you've got a timing section. Or timed button section. There, and then for this, which is the last jump of five, you have to wrap around. Oh, shoot. So now this is a slow speed section, and I do want to showcase that if you fall an accident, there's a couple of safety net catchers, but, alright, so, this is probably the hardest part of the slow speed section, but it's not too bad. So this section, the time section where you have to wedge yourself between these gaps. Be careful as you're coming up there. Alright, this section, a bit more challenging. Walk around. Alright, for this one, yeah, there you know, do the trust there. Alright, so for this one, go down once, here, then just walk onto the truss. Alright, right, this section, you gotta be very careful. So these elevators will push you off when you touch them, but you do have a low jump. Seven. So you're starting off, you've immediately got the cylinder roll section. Plus control. There, we need to try and control. So yeah, for this obstacle, you can either dance glitch into this gap or wedge grab into the gap. I will wedge grab it. You could do either. Yeah. Now be careful as you exit the 
got there. Down quite a bit. Ah, mm. uh, yeah, the balloon sections. But yeah, you do want to approach these like sideways. Uh, mm. Mm. Right. This is a fast button section, so you only have one second to get through this wall. And then only two seconds to jump across to this button. Alright, now you're on floor eight. Starting off, you have this moving platform section. You have to jump around to there. Moving platform, and then. Okay, yeah, this part. So these buttons move into the wall, so you only have like a second to stand on them and move across. button deactivator after there so you won't get like soft locked if you happen to fall. Alright so this section, this is ice and you have to maneuver around these spikes. It is a similar thing to this in Tower of Crystal's Wrath, not as hard. This isn't too hard but it's trickier to navigate. platforms here are seats. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. This is me. Yeah, there we go. Floor 9. So starting off, you have this low jump point. Um, yeah, so you want to approach that ball jump. This is probably one of the harder jumps of the tower. I'll re showcase it. So, forward like that, and just like wrap around it. This, you don't want to like jump constantly, you want to get momentum from the ice in order to make it. Okay, so you're done with that now. Okay, so this mechanic relies a bit on physics, but nothing to luck. So basically you press the button, and you have to jump on it once it bounces once. So you press it, it'll fall, it'll bounce, you jump on it while it's like coming up from the bounce and wrap around to here. Alright, so remember, Inglet slash studs is a loose or tilting platforms, and in this case it is now a tilting, or not tilting, loose platform. So, boom. I could have taken your time with that a lot more. If I was on a real run, I think anyone would take their time with that. Alright, so now you are outside, except you're over a safety net, because the section is a little difficult. See, I would have been, my whole run would have been over. That's not even the hardest jump, is outside. That jump, that's the hardest jump. There we go. Now you're on floor 10, which has a rainbow color. With the islands. So, for this platform, you must step on this red right when this moving platform gets under there. So, 
There's a roof here. I would get out from that ball. Okay, never mind. Usually that works. There we go. So for this, this is a high jump. I'm gonna get to the top of the ball and like that. I really don't like this, but you have to go underneath the ball. stretch, which is outside. So, keep that spinner like that. On that first spinner, I would wrap very early. And yeah, you gotta wrap around that to here. And this is the last jump, which is a nine-stud wrap around. And boom. Now... dark rainbow room and yeah credits to me spicy and plushy gamer friends and boom you beat the tower so yeah this is our newest tower i think it's a lot better than tusos which was our other tower and this actually got in a fan game you always towers of hell so you can play the this tower in there when it when ring six comes out but yeah that's the tower. See ya.